Welcome back guys. <clears throat> if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Got another snowy day. Things are starting to thaw just a little bit out there. If you followed our last video, we got everything put back together on our Smithy combo machine. For those of you that missed it, we're working on a 1220 XL. It's an older machine. It, it needed some love. So we've got everything put back together, all cleaned and lubricated. Even got a tool chucked up. Today is going to be the first day that we turn a piece of metal on this lathe. And I'm gonna film it. I've never done this before. So we're gonna to learn together. I'm gonna to set you guys up. I've got this piece of real thick walled aluminum pipe it's like find a tape measure here it's two and a half inch od and with a wall thickness of about a half an inch and i have a lot more of this that we're going to use for some things coming up once i learn how to use this machine so i'll set you up back here in the back let you watch we'll chuck everything up fire it up get started and i'll explain what we're going to do all right so we're going to take our piece here find our tool find our key for the chuck slide this in just about three quarters of an inch or so tighten our chuck up real slow we kind of wiggle this around and hold pressure on the chuck key I've seen this done never done it so we want to wiggle it around put pressure on the chuck key then we're going to tighten it on down spin it around a little bit Check each, check each spot. Give it a little spin. See how it looks. It's probably not perfect, but it's good enough for who it's for, for a practice piece. Now I'm gonna turn the lathe on and see what it looks like, make sure it doesn't go flying. It looks pretty good. So now, put my key up. We're gonna run our carriage back here close. I don't know if you guys can see, hope you can see this tool post. We're gonna loosen it up, turn it around 90 degrees where our tool is facing the end. And we'll go ahead and run our tool post in here, back our carriage up, run our cross feet table in. And what we're looking for, and I'm gonna have you guys in the way, this table is gonna hit you. So, let me move you guys just a little bit. Let's see if I can... Boy, that's a good magnet on this camera. Let's see. See what you guys can see here. I might mount you right here. Let's try this. How about that? Can you see from right there? I think so. All right, let's try that. So now we're gonna spin this around and we're gonna set, we're gonna set our depth where we just almost hit. And that's where we're gonna start. So now, I'm gonna back this back up. We'll kick this on. Here goes nothing.
you can see right there, we're getting a shiny spot. That actually looks pretty good. We're gonna make a couple more passes and see if we can't get this intrude up. Then we'll go to try and turn the diameter down. thirds of the way around let's try one I played with the power feed on this just a little bit not ever on any material but <coughs> let's see if we can try one with power feed if I can get this going the right way let's start this up let's see Looks pretty good. Run this back out of the way. I'll give you guys a look. You can see it's that smoothed it off quite nicely, actually. If we were doing something with this, I would set set my compound up and just chamfer just chamfer that corner right there to get rid of the sharp edges. So, let's try now. Let's set this up. We're going to turn this this tool post only turns one reason, one way for some reason. Let's set it up this way. Get it down tight. Now we need to, looks like we need to back it back out just a little. Or all the way. Move this out of the way, get some of these millings off there. Run our carriage back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now this may not be the right tool for this. But it's what I've got. We could actually Let's see what this looks like. I 
probably got you guys held where you can't even see this. My camera's pointed all kinds of wonky. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Okay. Spin this on back around here. Tighten it down. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Now let's run this in here. Run it on in a little bit. Let's see if we spin without hitting, which we do. So we can go in just a hair more. Like I said, I don't know the proper way to do this. I just know what makes sense to me. Okay, let's run back on up here. Go in just a touch. Like so, maybe back a hair. All right, I'm gonna set you guys up on this side this time where you can see. Get my screen turned on here where I can set up. I guess that's where you're going to be. Oh yeah, that'll be just fine. Okay, here we go. As you can see, it's a little bit out of round. Shiny on half, dull on half. Let's make another pass. Let's see what it looks like now. You can see we still got one little spot right there. This pipe's all kinds of wonky, but that's okay. We can turn it down and make it into what we need it to be. So, let's make one more pass here. See what that gets us. Shut her off a little early there. Still had it on high speed. That should, yeah, that took that spot out. All right, let's try it again. Switch it over to low. And run it in until. There we have it. We kind of got some goofy stuff going on right here. This camera where I can show you. Well, man, it's tough. 
We still we kind of got some crazy stuff going on there where we stopped. That's just because of the tool we're using. We can't get a sharp. We end up with a chamfered kind of an angled edge instead of a nice sharp line. I'm sure if we dug through this drawer of tooling here, we could find something that would work better. Some of these have got the corners knocked off of them. And they're not in very good shape. They're all, if we use something like that, but it's got one side broken off of it, if we use something like that, we could get a lot sharper edge. And if we would, we could actually take this one and angle this tool post different and get a sharper angle there but this works for my practice run that's what i wanted to find out so <clears throat> i think that's going to be it for this video i may film another one later this afternoon that involves some other things that's maybe a little different and uh yeah i think it's going to be fun Thanks for watching, guys, and leave me likes and comments. Tips, tricks are always helpful, and uh, I, I'd appreciate it. This is, this is the first half an hour that I've ever spent uh, using a metal lathe, so I've got a lot to learn. <laughs>